Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca and it's my job to talk to people all across South Yorkshire about waste, the free R's and what they put in their bins. Today we're going to talk about the most important part of my job, the free R's. This stands for reduce, reuse and recycle. I'll tell you more about what these mean in a little bit. First of all, I have a question for you. What is waste? You may call it many different names too, like rubbish, trash, junk, garbage, or even litter. But can you think of the best way to describe it? If you want, you can pause this video and discuss or write down your definition. The best way to describe waste is something that is no longer useful to us in its current form. So that is anything we no longer want or need. Can you think of any examples of items we might call waste? Again, if you want, you can pause the video and discuss or write down some answers. Here are some examples. Tins and cans, food waste, plastic bottles, an old sofa, a toy we no longer play with, or a bike that we've outgrown. But waste can be any object, item or thing that we no longer want or need. 31 million tonnes of waste is made in the UK every year. That's a lot of waste. In fact, 31 million tonne weighs the same as 3.5 million double-decker buses. If all these buses were to form a queue, it would go around the earth two and a half times. Waste can cause a lot of problems. It can be very smelly if we don't store it properly. It can hurt animals and people if we don't look after it safely. It can take up a lot of space. And some items and materials are very difficult to get rid of. So to help try and stop the problems caused by waste, we use the three R's. These are reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce means making less waste in the first place. Reuse means using things over and over again instead of just throwing them away. And recycle means turning our rubbish into brand new things. Here are some examples of the three R's. Reducing is making less waste and we can do this by thinking about what we buy and only buying the things that we need. Redesigning items so that fewer resources are needed to make them. And thinking about the packaging of items before we buy them, as more packaging means more waste. Here's an example of a simple way you can reduce waste. Which one of these do you think will make the most waste? Well, the variety pack on the right has eight servings of cereal, eight cardboard boxes, eight inside bags, then all the boxes are wrapped in plastic film, which is sometimes difficult to recycle. The big box on the left, however, has 24 servings of cereal, one cardboard box, one inside bag, and no plastic film on the outside. Getting the one big box instead of lots of little boxes would be better as there is a lot less waste. Getting the larger box also works out cheaper as it only costs 16 pence per serving, which is less than the 29 pence per serving of the variety pack. Reusing is using things over and over again instead of throwing them away. Some examples of this are using reusable items like water bottles or shopping bags instead of disposable ones, repairing broken things instead of throwing them away, and also buying second-hand items like clothes, toys and furniture rather than brand new. Recycling is turning waste into new items. Some examples of how you can help to recycle are putting things in the correct bin at home and if possible at school too, keeping a recycling bin or bag in your bedroom and bathroom, and taking things you can't recycle at home to the recycling centre or bring bank. To make sure that we get good quality recycling that can be made into new things, we sort our waste into different colour bins. In Barnsley, we have four bins. We have a blue bin, a green bin, a brown bin and a grey bin. In the blue bin, we put in white envelopes, 
paper and newspapers, and card and cardboard boxes. In the green bin, we put our garden waste, and this includes grass cuttings, flowers, plants, leaves, and twigs. The brown bin is for plastic bottles, glass bottles, glass jars, tins, and cans. And finally, we have the grey bin where we put all our leftover waste. And this includes food waste, nappies, plastic pots, plastic tubs, and plastic trays. So why should we recycle? Recycling saves our oceans and beaches. 80% of the plastic found in the oceans originally comes from the land. By looking after our rubbish and putting it in the correct bins, we stop it ending up on the land or in the water. Many animals in the ocean think that plastic is food and will eat it. This can make them very poorly and hurt them. Recycling also means that we can turn our waste into new things. So here I have 25 plastic bottles which can be recycled into a fleece jacket. Or they could be turned into a wheelie bin, traffic cone, drain pipe or used to insulate a home and keep it warm. Recycling also saves our resources. Resources is the name we give to everything that we use to make and power our stuff, such as oil, wood, sand or metal. The more stuff we make, the more resources we use. So as you can see on the graph on the screen now, we have loads of resources, but as we make more stuff, the amount of resources will go down. Some resources take a very long time to replace and others are completely irreplaceable. So it's important that we use resources wisely, use them for as long as possible and recycle them when we are done with them. Recycling also saves energy. By recycling just one glass bottle, enough energy is saved to power a light bulb for four hours compared with making a brand new bottle. When we make a new bottle, we have to mine for the resources used to make the glass, mix and heat them to form the glass and make a new bottle. When we recycle a bottle, it is just broken up, melted down and made into a new bottle. This takes a lot less energy. So how can you help? Remember the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Reduce means making less waste in the first place. Reuse means using things again and again instead of throwing them away. And recycle means putting waste into the correct bin so that it can be made into new things. Here are some examples of the free R's at home and at school for you to try. Use a reusable water bottle rather than a disposable one. Donate any of your unwanted toys or clothes to charity or give them to friends and family. Use rechargeable batteries in your toys. Remind whoever does the shopping at home to make a list first so that they only buy what they need and to take their reusable bags with them. And finally, put things in the correct bin. Ask a grown-up if you're not sure. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you want more educational resources, please visit bdronline.co.uk forward slash education.